And I'll give you five dollars and you throw it on here. <laughs> He's been drinking. I will <laughs> slice you. I will slice you. I will slice you. <laughs> the street is all the way down there. So we have got to make our way all the way up the driveway and then up this patio, which is about two foot higher than the grade itself here, down this little slope, and then over to where Bully is now. He's got some deer fencing that we're gonna just take down, save for later, but we're gonna be coming up this back area here with all of our rocks, with all the machines, and then up onto this patio. So we're gonna be laying a whole road of plywood and fabric across that patio just to protect it. And then we also have an area where we can stage our stones. But access here, super rocky. We've got tree stumps in the way. So we're gonna actually have to make a ramp out of some soil that we'll dig out of from up here to use over here. Um, so there's a couple steps before we can even do anything. So we're gonna start that. The boys are starting to unload the machines. So let me go help them with that and we'll check in in just a bit. This is going to be the area where the new pond will be. Now he does have a very small preformed pond that his kids wanted and they've got a couple of little goldfish in there, but we're gonna save those and make sure that they get reintroduced into the new pond. But this is the space that we're gonna be working at. What we're gonna build here is a pond that's about eight feet wide this way, approximately 13 feet this way, two foot depth, and then we're gonna add in about an eight foot long waterfall with a series of multiple cascades that spill into the pond. So what we're gonna do, dig up this evergreen over here and then start clearing out so we can level that off and have a clean slate to work with. are well underway with this new pond installation. The old plastic tub is out. Bully is working on setting the skimmer so we can get our water height. We're gonna be utilizing that retaining wall that runs along the patio right over here. So we're gonna set the water level four inches down from the top of that capstone down there. And then we're gonna run our plumbing and kind of snake it behind the wall and then back up to the, the biofalls. Overflow will just be snaked down underneath that new retaining wall that we're gonna build all the way along the front edge here. So again, the front of the pond will be elevated against the grade of that patio there. But all of this back here is gonna be sunk down to our 12 inch shelf and then the 24 inch depth. Up there where Bowley and Jason are, that's our biofalls. You can see it's positioned this way. That's gonna allow us to do a couple of drops and a little meandering stream. So the waterfall comes in this way. Our double layer of underlayment is in the pond. We've excavated a nice natural shape. Fish cave's gonna go right over here. Our retaining wall, which me and Anthony are working on, is going to be the front side and outside of the pond. We've got the skimmer hooked up with all of our plumbing. This backside here is our overflow. This is where we've set our water level based on. Overflow comes out here and then goes down out that way. And then our plumbing, which will be connected to the pump, comes around here and then it's gonna shoot up and run behind this wall. You can see we've got the pipe there. We just have to finish trenching in the path for that. And then liner goes in so we can start setting some rocks.
Okay, we've built this wall all the way around using all these irregular shaped stones. So it's kind of weird how they fit together. It's like a puzzle here, but we're making our way, keeping it as level as possible, making our way down here, leaving this part here open for access so we can get the machine up over there to set our stones up on the waterfall. Brennan is, what is Brennan doing? Sitting here. Right now over in this corner, I'm just finishing up the uh, rock work inside the pond. We already have this retaining wall that was already built here beforehand. So we're tying our boulders up to that same height to uh, match the elevation. That way our line is high enough to uh, tuck it there four inches above water level. And there'll be a nice smooth transition from that side. A smooth transition. Mm, similar to like a smooth criminal. <laughs> this is my biggest fan. Tension wall along the front edge here is just about finished. Again, we kind of stopped right where the machine's been kind of going back and forth over here. So we're gonna finish that off once we're totally done placing our stones up in the pond and in the edge of the stream there. It looks a lot different than it did before this wall here where the rocks were kind of slanted and falling back on each other. We now have more of a vertical edge here, holding back some soil, allowing for some planting along the edge of the pond here. Also gave us a nice little pocket for putting the skimmer right up next to the edge of this block retaining wall. Those caps are all glued in place. We kind of butted right up to the edge of it, just kind of picked up that line, carried it right through. But the pond itself, almost done. We've got all of our edges up along this side finished. Nice clean edge up against the block work here. Fish cave in the far corner. We've got also five lights in the pond, two at the bottom three up on this upper shelf here. That's gonna really illuminate this entire pond. In addition, each of the spillways is gonna have a light. Repurposing this piece of cherry tree that came down from another job was a really cool accent. Even the customer's wife came out. She absolutely loves this look, loves that it just helps naturalize this, this pond. We found this really cool piece of driftwood up in the woods behind the customer's house. So we were able to repurpose that. Bowley put it right in, almost as a frame rock to the waterfall up here, complementing the other frame rock over here with a nice spillway right in front of it here. So that water is gonna be crashing over all those little nubs of the root, and then coming down here, pooling up as it heads down to the next spillway. A couple more rocks to frame out the upside here, backfill with soil, tuck those edges down, that part is finished. rinsing so you know that means we are super close to finishing this project the gravel we use is super silty so we have to take the time to clean it out rinse it really flush this out so when we fill it up with fresh water and turn it on it's not just going to stir up all that silt to make the water cloudy going to be putting in some of these aquatic plants tucked into the edges over here you can see a creeping jenny is just tucked right into the edge of that waterfall as it grows it's just going to kind of creep down and kind of cover up and soften that edge over here we've got some sedums some iris uh, that we replanted that were up in this garden area before. But these will just be tucked in along the edges here. The rest of this will be mulched and left open for the customer to do whatever planting he feels he should do over here. And uh, that's it.
tight. We've got this thing plugged in. I'm going to get the customer now. Let's see what they think. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god. No way. That looks so cool. Thank you very much. And it was done so fast and perfectly. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you guys. It was done so fast. It looks amazing. Thank you all you guys. The plants are just amazing. Dealing with this heat, it ain't easy. Man. It ain't easy. Uh -uh. Oh man, this this was a savior. Thank you. Thank you. We love it. This is amazing. This is crazy. Look at the world. This looks so good. Everything is perfect. It does look like it was just here when you bought this. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I think that meant that they liked it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Click that button below. Let us know, and we'll see you on the next project. Thanks.